Hello, my name is Professor Rory Ridley Duff, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access Fair Shares Association social auditing tools and diagnostics. All of our tools have been informed by research at the Fair Shares Institute at Sheffield Hallam University, and therefore, there's been careful study of each of the issues that the tools cover. There is a separate video for each tool, uh, but in this video I want to look at the generic options that apply across all tools. Uh, I won't repeat these in the separate uh, videos for each tool. So I hope you find this interesting and that you get good use out of these tools in your work. To access the Fair Shares Association tools and diagnostics, open your browser and go to fairshares.coop forward slash social audit. This will open a page on the Fair Shares Association website that contains URLs to each tool. There are two groups. The first can be used for initial discussions and dialogue amongst the members of your enterprise. Three of them ask a series of open questions to stimulate dialogue and collect qualitative data that helps the early stages of a social audit. There are also four advanced diagnostics. These enable you to collect quantitative data and are more useful for monitoring and reviewing the preferences of your members to assess how much they desire changes in the management practices of your enterprise. Let me now show you generic options that are available in all tools. To explore this, I will use the Social Enterprise Survey. When I click the link, it opens a page about the survey tool. There is a short description of the academic research undertaken before the tool was created. In this case, it is based on a journal article by myself and Cliff Southcombe. Click Take the Survey to open a social audit tool. As with other Fair Shares tools you may have used, such as the Fair Shares Rules Generator, you input an email address so the results can be sent to you. You also have to accept the Creative Commons license in order to use the tool. All tools have a page that asks you to say how you are using it. If you choose Trial, it takes you straight to the survey questions. This is often useful in a classroom setting. The trial option bypasses pages that collect demographic information about the person filling out the survey. The option Social Audit would be used to survey opinions in a single organisation to gather the views of members. Choosing this option takes me to a page that collects information on my job role as well as the name of the enterprise. If appropriate, you can give your response a project code. You may also want to use this survey with students enrolled on a course at a college or university. You can choose Education to collect information about the user's identity, whether they are a student or a lecturer, their institution name and location, the qualification that the student is working towards, the course name and a session code to differentiate their response from other sessions and courses. Lastly, you can use the social auditing tools for research purposes. If you choose this, you are prompted to give explicit consent to use the results of the survey in academic publications. If needed, you can allocate the response to specific projects. It will also collect information about you, your income level, length of service, education level, and other demographic data that researchers like to collect to understand the people who filled out their survey. So, whichever of the diagnostic tools or the social audit tools you use, you make these choices initially, and then you answer the questions. All of our Fair Shares social auditing tools and diagnostics are available on the Fair Shares Association website. That's okay if you want to try them out and perhaps use them with students in a classroom setting. But if you want to do social auditing in a single organisation or in consultancy work, you'll need your own set of personal survey tools that you can customise. We provide these to members and people who have an annual subscription to the Fair Shares Association. If you go to fairshares.coop forward slash membership, you can apply for a subscription or for membership 
and then we can provide you with your own set of tools. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, we have courses available on the website of the Fair Shares Institute. If you want to study to become a certified practitioner in Fair Shares, point your browser at fsi.coop forward slash courses to find out more information.